Alright, so I know it's been a while. Started this in June of 2020. Today is July 21st, 2022. <laughs> it's actually been done since last September. Um, we started doing some things in there. I just haven't had the time to really finish up and get everything situated with the videos. But we're going to take you on the final tour of the shed build, the crushing mill. Obviously, you've all seen the outside, so what y'all been waiting for, let's get on the inside. <clears throat> By the way, it's about 95 degrees today in July here in New England, and it is hot and humid. But in here, with the AC, I'll give you a quick little look around and then we can uh, discuss some things. So, basically, once you start putting in your, your equipment and stuff, the room gets taken up quickly, but still there's a good amount of room in here. Definitely enough for uh, for us to do our thing when we have to do our thing. So, what was I gonna say? Oh, I have that set to 62 degrees, just for the, cause we have wine. We have wine in these tanks. There's a Petit Syrah we've made, and also a Merlot, about 50 gallons of Merlot. 20 gallons of a petite. These tanks are full. You can see this. This is a variable, variable capacity tank, which the, the lid just floats on top of the line, so no air gets to it, which is good. I guess we'll just start over here. So this light, remember if you remember from any of the videos, if you watched them, I had that wired on a switch. So that's nice, along with that, along with that light. Outside light, these are on a dimmer. Boom, bright. I like to keep them a little dim. How's that for the video purposes? More? Ah, uh, that. Yep. And then this, remember the, the plug up there, which I haven't put a light up there yet, or the wedge, but I'll get to that. But I also put in this fan. You can't really see it because I blend it in with the ceiling up here. That's for when we're smoking our cigars, cigars and pipes. That, that's, uh, that keeps the temperature, so it's been hovering, you know, coming in and out between 62 and 64, which is nice. These chairs, believe it or not, Facebook Marketplace, this one was free. They recline. Same thing with these. These for the pair, I paid like 25 bucks. So nice to get. So we'll move along here. Obviously the shelving unit with all my equipment and supplies, these drawers will be pretty much what I need. I got some supplies for some rum I'm gonna make, some whiskey. <laughs> this is the still. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. That's our still. These are the cabinets I was working on. More supplies, some snacks. Down here, it's pretty cool. You can, I'll get out the way so you can see, but I just need to make this out. Put in an RO system for the beer, okay? Which is nice, so that's off of this faucet. That's all RO water. Hot and cold water here. A little curate for when I want some coffee. Maybe a little wine. More supplies. More supplies. This is my beer making baby right here. Brew Tools B40. It's a little, a little pricey, but I love it. All the attachments are all tri clamp attachments. Same thing with the. Uh, Chiller, chiller's back, back here. You can see that. I know I got hoses and stuff, but all this just hooks up with tri, uh, tri clamps and faucet here. 
Turn that on, show the bear. It's a nice machine right there. So I built that shelf a little lower because, you know, try to keep this level. This I just use for uh, sparge water. A mini fridge. Stock with some stuff. TV. Alright. This is the uh, fermenter. More beer fermenter. Conical fermenter. Got that healthier cooling or whatever. So uh, three bottle bottle of this call it. Where we pump uh, we use the uh, pump pump the wine comes through these hoses into here. One bottle, two bottle, three bottle. Then I have a floor corker. Pump, pump, pump. It's a regular production line. The pump for when we're Racking the wines on a switch. My daughter decorated for me. <laughs> I remember I, I remember I painted this brown, but I changed it to black. I like black better because I painted I, when I did this chest freezer, which I have a video on. Uh, let me put that on another day. But this is the, obviously a four tap, but this four tap being a um, nitro tap. Ooh, perfect. So right now I just have some hard cider, which we made, I made back in November. And then there's the nitro tank and a CO2 tank. And my Guinness, well, it's a stout, it's an Irish stout clone, came out really good. Um, I mean, what else, what else can I say? I'm about to do another beer. You know, it's, like I said, it's been a busy summer, but usually like it starts to wind down and I can get out here. Oh my, my wine press. And uh, we have the, you'll see, I'm gonna insert some clips of uh, when we made the wine and stuff. You'll see I have a, Big Crusher Destemmer, how that operation all works. I'll insert some clips of uh, the beer making that we did in uh, cider. What? I mean, for now, that's it. <clears throat> um, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. See ya. <laughs>
And a boy. That's beautiful. Look at that, Merlot. We're mixing in the uh, pe peptic enzyme, which breaks down the grapes. So we yield more juice, more wine, more better, right? More That's better. the bottom line. We got. We gotta get the music. Though. We got the petite sarah. Petite Petite sarah. We got a serious setup here. Yeah. Unbelievable. Ain't little, little, little 15 gallons right there. We got the Merlot. Ain't nobody got a setup like that. That we just crushed. No, look at this. Come on. It's beautiful. Come on. A little man. hard cider. Hand built beer. By, the, by the cap. Right oh, by the, got the football game on. Uh, we have music playing, but, you know, I'm using my phone, which was playing the music. So, of course, it stopped the video. Mike, stop to play pocket. Stop the music. <laughs> Please don't stop the music. Music. Music, we don't got the music. <laughs> okay, what do we got? October 13th, 2021. About to punch a cat. This is a couple days after crushing. It's fermenting away. Dark. Dark purple. This is so dark. Compared to this, more of a maroon. This stuff is black. So good. You gonna bring your own cigar? Or you got your own? No, we're gonna buy them there. Yeah. Time to press the rest of the grapes. Beautiful. Got a little Merlot. Flowing nicely. Coming out of here. We already pumped some off. Going in here. Then we gotta do this one. The petite the sabat. And then that's going in that tank in the corner once we get that out of the way. Hey, hey buddy. Ratchet press. Ladder press. <laughs> yeah. Let me get the uh we're gonna probably have to pour this out. Yeah, well, don't get too crazy because we gotta switch that out. 